Have you ever heard strange sounds when you were in a room by yourself? Um, I can confirm that I've heard rumors of a Franklin High School ghost. I have not seen the ghost or experienced anything uh, supernatural, paranormal here in the building. The stories that I have heard, uh, as opposed to experienced, involve the stage area and the pool area. Do you ever get the feeling that someone is watching you? We need a key to turn the lights on. As I'm reaching to turn the lights on, the lights go on. I feel like I'm open to, if there was something like that, some, uh, being able to experience that, but I have not. I have not witnessed anything, so I've, I've never seen a ghost in my entire life. Do you believe in ghosts? I have seen uh, what I feel is an apparition once, and that was in the main hallway. Later in the day, I'm taking the key to turn the lights off, the lights go off. Strange things happen sometimes, and it's, uh, um, you know, that's, that's the rumor that I've heard. In this episode, we are going to look into some of the FHS ghost stories that have been spread throughout the school. We will talk to some of the night staff who claimed they have experienced some unusual phenomena in our 50-year-old school. I can confirm that I've heard rumors of a Franklin High School ghost. A staff member uh, late at night uh, heard something in the multi-purpose room and, and went in there and what she, she saw was what looked like a woman on the stage older clothing and um, so she went up towards the stage and the figure moved behind the curtain and then she looked behind the curtain and saw the woman again and then the person disappeared. I got together with Greg and Kenny. Some of the night staff who have claimed they have experienced and witnessed some pretty unexplainable occurrences here during the late hours of the school. I have seen uh, what I feel is an apparition once, and that was in the main hallway. I was cleaning up after a fall play, this was maybe a year or two ago, probably two years ago, and I simply was cleaning in the multi-purpose room. I looked up into the main hallway and there was a woman, uh, an adult lady, uh, standing in the hallway just looking in the multi-purpose room door, just looking at me. And since I wasn't planning on looking that direction, I actually did a double take. And on the double take, she was gone. I've heard stories about people who have felt presences in the stage area. And it's just interesting that this took place after a fall play. There's no one else in the building. The bathrooms were empty. The main entrance was locked. No one in the stage area, stage storage area, multi-purpose room. Again, it's a Saturday, I know flat out, I'm the only one in the building, everything is locked up. I'm turning the lights off in the NPR and the curtains were drawn on the stage and you could see, if you can imagine somebody taking their hand across the curtains from one end to the other, you could just see the curtains move. And again, I know flat out, I was the only one in the building. I had finished cleaning the girls' restroom first here at the main entrance. And then I cleaned the boys' restroom here at the main entrance. And then I cleaned the main entrance glass. And then as I went to get a vacuum to vacuum these mats here at the main entrance. So this is a, at least five minutes minimum I've been out of the girls' bathroom, at least full five minutes. And there was just a slamming of a partition door. Very, very loud. Something slammed that door. The first three months that I had worked here, there were some occurrences and some things that were happening. And um, probably after about six months is when I was pressure washing the pool deck. I'm halfway down the pool deck and the water was physically turned off. I know for a fact it was a Saturday. I'm the only one in the building. Everything else is locked up. 
the water was physically turned off. I had to come back and manually turn it back on. And after that occurrence is when I started asking the questions about if anyone else had a, other experiences in the building. Uh, on my way back with the three racks, again, there's no one in the building. This is after midnight. Um, you get a sensation that there's uh, some sort of a presence in the hallway. Uh, so I'm doing my job getting, my, getting the uh, racks back here. And what I found interesting is when I finally got the third and final rack past this doorway, and the door actually closed, the door is shut. As I'm walking away with that third and final rack, that's what I hear. That was not the door closing. Something struck that door. That is the... Uh the legend of Franklin High School as I know it, um, and I've heard some other people mention that there's there's been other, I guess, creepy situations at late at night here, um, where people have have seen things or heard things that uh, were difficult to explain. These unexplained occurrences and unusual sounds leave them wondering: Is there really a ghost or two? Whether you believe it or not, it's your decision. I'm Brandon, and thanks for watching.